What's the fastest way to write $10,000 copy? What's the process I follow to write simple emails, simple words that clients are willing to pay top dollar for? In this video, I want to show you the two best non-sexy ways that I found to get great at writing copy as fast as humanly possible so I can make the most amount of, amount of money possible. So, let's get into it. The number, the step number one is to brainwash myself with goaded marketing. So what I did when I first started as a copywriter is I signed up to as many lists as, as possible from famous personal brands. And then I reviewed their emails for hours per day. I had a crazy starting routine. So I woke up, I read A-list emails for at least 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Then after lunch, I broke down old school ads and sales letters. Some coaches will tell you not to do that because that's a bit old school. But I highly disagree. These are the best markets out there. And I've heard that a good idea and a, a good way to to come up with one of the best ideas is to bring an old idea back to life. So that's what you're doing here. Then before bed, I read even more emails. And okay, so maybe when I was in the in the bus or maybe when I was doing something, I would also bring my phone and I would read some more pro emails. So basically, I was studying every day, all day. Now, maybe you think that's a lot of time, but is it worth it? It is. Because now all I have to do to come up with crazy hooks and angles for my clients is to know the product and do some research. I don't, I don't think about the idea. That's the power of consuming great marketing as early as possible in your career. So because the hardest thing, the hardest part about writing copy is coming up with a main idea. And that's what you, that's what we're doing here when we're studying all that pro copy. So once you have that, you don't even have to think about the copy. Great ideas write themselves. Have you have you have you gone through that? Like you have an idea, a clear idea in your mind, and you go to your Google Doc, and the, and the words just type themselves. You you don't need to do anything crazy. They just type themselves. So, one of my life philosophies is put in the work early, and reap the rewards for the rest of your life. Okay. And the second way to become a great copywriter, which again isn't isn't sexy in any way, shape, or form, is by becoming a writing machine. Sometimes a student of mine will tell me, will send me some of the copy for review, and I'll tell them, you just need to write more copy. There's nothing for me to do here. There'll be nothing I can do to help them at that point. And because because the highest ROI activity isn't my feedback, but them writing more copy. Okay, because they're beginners. The writing style hasn't been formed yet, so I need to see more work from them first before I can even before I can even give them some solid feedback, some powerful feedback, you know. They're like they're like a baby who needs to to learn stuff. No offense, of course. So the more you write, the better you become. That's the biggest 80-20 task I did as a copywriter to get crazy results for my clients, and also start writing copy faster and better copy faster. That's that's important. You don't want to write average copy faster, bro. Why would you do that? So writing copy is by far the best way to learn how to write copy. That's that's pretty self-explanatory. You get better at writing copy by actually writing copy. Just like, for example, you get better at cooking by, by cooking more often, or you get better at running by running more often, or you get bigger at the gym by being more time at the gym. That's how it goes. So just find a personal brand along, along with a niche that you like and start writing copy for them. It's that simple. No need to complicate the process. No need to add unnecessary steps. No need to hear all this crap that you need to have a, a schedule or something. Now, of course, I wouldn't... Maybe I wouldn't do that. That uh, Maybe that's too much for you to do. If you don't have a lot of time. I had all day, so I could do that. If you only have four to five hours, this isn't the type of schedule I would have. But I would still try to implement at least, at least a few minutes a day to this. This is higher eye activity especially when you're a beginner so yeah that was all for me by me for today peace